Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use a direct quote in your letter. So what is a direct quote? Well, first of all, a direct quote doesn't have to be something that someone else says. For example, every year I'll have students look at their article and they say, Mrs. Vlaika, I, I'm looking, I'm looking through here. I, I don't, there's no quotes in here. How am I supposed to use a direct quote? There's, there's no quotes in here. So a direct quote doesn't have to be something that's said in your article. A direct quote is anything that you take word for word from the article. So it's any evidence taken word for word from the text is a direct quote. So a direct quote could be right here. A direct quote could be here. A direct quote could be here. Anytime you use something word for word from the article, that's a direct quote. Okay, so in order to use it in your letter, you have to put quotation marks around it. That shows me that those words are taken word for word from a different source. They're not your words. So these right here are quotation marks. Put it around the evidence you're using word for word from the article. So for example, if I want to use a quote from this article, maybe I'll look down here where it says, children as young as age 15 were made to work 15 hour days, expected to do at least 70 hours a week, and punished for refusing to work overtime, paid less than $60 a month, rates below the International Labor Organization's demand for a living wage. Okay, I like that. You know, and one of the reasons I'm going to use that word for word is, first of all, it would be really hard to paraphrase that. It's a powerful quote. I like how it's stated and I don't really want to take the time to put it in other words. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay, so then I'm going to go to my letter here. All right, and the easiest thing to do is I'm just going to paste that here. Okay, now really important, I need to put quotation marks around it. And then I'm just going to make this uh, formatted properly for my letter. Okay, there I have a direct quote from the article. Um, in order to use that, of course, I'm going to have to cite it. So I'm going to go back to the article and I'm just going to use an in-text citation. I'm going to say, according to the article, child labor scandal hits Adidas. So let's just copy that. I'm going to paste it in here. According to the article, let's make this all the right size. Eee. Okay, now the only other thing is, so this is a title of an article, so I have to put quotation marks around this. So according to the article, child labor scandal hits Adidas, I'm going to put a comma because now my quote's going to start. Children as young as 15 were made to work 15 hour days, expected to do at least 70 hours a week, and punished for refusing to do overtime. Paid less than $60 a month rates below the International Labor Organization's demand for a living wage. Okay, when I read your letter, I'm going to know that this is a direct quote because you put it in quotation marks. And then your quotation marks make it okay for you to use someone else's intellectual property word for word because you've told me this is not my words, these are somebody else's words. And you told me whose words they are by using a, an in-text citation. The last part is you need to explain why the quote is relevant to your letter in a follow-up sentence. So you would never just use a quote and then not explain why it's important. So in my letter, I'm going to say something like, this shows that young children 
are being overworked and underpaid in the Adidas clothing factory. These kids should be in school. Okay, so here you'll see I have my in-text citation. I tell the reader where I got the quote from. I have a direct quote taken word for word from the article in quotation marks. And then I have a couple follow-up sentences to explain why this direct quote is relevant or important to my letter. Why does it matter? So that's how you use a direct quote in your letter. Thanks for watching.